joins us live from True Blue Barber and Shave Parlor with more. Yeah, that's right. We have our lovely model here. He had a long night, so we're only going to show part of his face. Joining us now is Ben Jones. We were talking about, okay, let's get right to it. So some men just can't grow a full beard. Right. They have some patches. What do you do? Uh, well, you just uh, kind of, if you're going to do a line, you can see a patch right here. You just leave it a little wider than that and just really let it grow. Don't touch it too much. Sometimes you have the sideburns that don't connect, and that's just kind of how it is, uh, unless you grow everything out. And if you're going to grow everything out, you can let the neck grow out here, keep this all short, let your neck grow so it all projects down this way for a big full beard. But really, there's nothing like, uh, you know, you can't really do a beard come over kind of thing. So you just kind of roll with it if you can't yeah, grow it, right? You just have to grow around the patch to, to fill everything in. Yeah. Do you find that most men really worry about such things? Uh, I would say it's maybe 50-50, half yeah. and half. Yeah, yeah. some guys worry, some don't. Now let's talk about the, the texture of the beard. A lot of guys will find that the women they're with don't want to kiss them, don't want to get around them because it's so rough, so scrushy. What do you do to it to make it smooth? Uh, you can, you can uh, maybe condition it more than shampooing it. That keeps it soft. Maybe shampoo it once, twice a week, something like that, keeping it conditioned nice and soft. Now, I know there's the whole metrosexual male movement. They've got lots of products out there, but you said really you can keep it simple. What can you put in it that you just get over the counter that's not so expensive? Uh, there's different. Uh, there's things like coconut oil you can put in. Uh, almond oil there's different lotions you can use you don't really have to go too crazy with it a lot of natural things you can use and not a lot of it just a little dabble yeah, yeah. do you more, more just enough for a fingertip rubbing it around you know making sure you get it through the whole thing all right so what's the big trend now because you know when i was growing up well they were coming out of i'm really dating myself the big mustaches you know the magnum pi thing tom Selleck. Then the soul patches yeah, I would and say the more of the the full the full kind of Viking style beard is what everybody's going for. You know the big long down to your belly beard. Yeah, kind of seems to be what's going on. Really? Yeah, sure. So how long does it take to grow something like that? I would say uh, probably a good amount of time, maybe up to a year of not touching your beard and just letting it grow. Like I said, if you want to go real thick, then just let it grow down farther on the throat. All this is gonna get you some background area there. Can we, can we talk to our guy here? Are you planning on doing anything like that? He might be asleep. No, I don't, I no. no, he usually keeps it pretty short. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he keeps it pretty short. We were just showing you for the, the patch reasons, you know, and, and, and yeah. Yeah. All right. Sure. So really quickly, you are located where? Uh, 28, uh, 1422 28th Street in Sacramento, right between N and O Street. So you do haircuts, shaves, and free beer? Free beer, yeah. If you're coming to hang out, we can at least give you a beer, sure. I love that, but the parking's not free because it's Sacramento. All right, back to you guys. <laughs> Good night, nighty night. <laughs> Thanks, Elise Becerra. I'm so weak that that guy did not want to be shown on camera. Right, right. Just he had a hard year. night. <laughs> he had a hard night. Okay, we're gonna see your tailgating pictures. Uh, maybe you've uh, gone to a big game in the past. Have you tailgated? Like, um, oh, you haven't gone to 